channel my name is Osereme and if today is your first time on this channel then especially welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome please click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video here on this channel if you don't already know I showcase African fashion and I share sewing tutorial videos so if that is something you are interested in I wonder what you are waiting for click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and today's video is one that I'm very excited about because I'm going to be sharing with you how to make your very own patch fabric. Yes, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this patch fabric from scratch. So if that is something you're interested in, let's go straight into these videos, guys. So the first thing to do here is to cut out a pieces of fabric here like this one I have here is 4 inches on all sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place it on other pieces of fabric and I'm just going to use this to trace it out. I'm going to have to cut out so many pieces with this particular pattern. It depends on how wide you want your fab your pieces to be. For me, I wanted it to be 4 inches on both sides. You can decide to cut yours 5 inches on both sides, 6 inches on both sides. You can even decide to make it not to be a square. You can make one side to be longer than the other. It all depends on how you want it to be. All you have to do is to trace it out, keep tracing it out on different fabrics as you can see me doing like this. It just has to keep going and going. This is not a one day job guys. You have to keep on doing this for like a couple of weeks because you have to keep up with gathering different pieces of fabric. It's not just something you start up in a day. Only if you have already gathered the pieces together before and you just want to start cutting it out in one day. Yes, make sure that um, the pieces you're cutting out are exactly the same um, measurements. Like, make sure that some are not bigger than the others, so that when you are stitching it together, you don't have problems. Okay, so as you can see, I have made a couple of it, and this is so many here that I've made. These are, I think, these are way over hundred pieces that I have here. So this is what I'm going to use now to start making this patch fabric so i'm going to leave this aside to put them to the side and i'm going to begin to arrange different patches together different pieces together as you can see me doing like this don't put the same colors together don't put similar colors close to each other just arrange it in a way that um different colors are coming together that's how you'll be able to get the really beautiful outcome that you saw in the beginning of this video So guys, the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to pin it together on the sides. Make sure that you're putting the right sides facing each other because one thing I've noticed from making this patch fabric is that uh, when you finish cutting out pieces, especially those materials that are hard to identify the back, it's really very hard for you to identify the front and the back. So you have to be very careful when you are putting these pieces together to ensure that you don't mix the... you don't patch the front and the back pieces together i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so now i'm just going to pin these pieces together like this as you can see me doing like this and i'm going to do it for every single piece you see here that i've gathered together So guys, I'm now going to check, um, I checked it, the measurements of what I have pinned down and it's not up to one yard. I wanted this first line to be exactly one yard so I'm just going to add more pieces to it. So 
so now it's 36 inches and that is exactly what I want I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down on the side and I'm going just same way I did this particular one all together now as you can see I had um, uh, 10 pieces of each fabric so now I would just have to be joining 10 pieces of all the other fabrics together as I continue to sew so now I'll stitch down this first piece together I'll stitch all the sides that I pinned down initially as you can see I'll stitch it down here here and everywhere here I've stitched it all the way down and this is how beautiful it looks so what I'm going to do now is to keep on doing this for all these other pieces here I'm just going to keep on making different layers like this 10 pieces each and that's what I'm going to do so guys I have 25 different layers here gosh you can see how this is very time consuming I can you can imagine how much time you will need to actually join all these pieces together so this is the first part of it see all the plenty pa uh, patterns I have and as you can see I made sure that no two pieces are coming together like no two uh, fabric that are exactly the same pattern are together in the same place so the next thing I'm going to do now is to actually start joining these pieces together again you're going to see how I'm going to do this now so guys what you're going to do is to bring a pattern that is not um, the same with the one you had before like two different patterns although they, they, none of them is actually the same though so as you can see these two different patterns I'm going to place them together like this make sure they are right sides facing each other and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it down on one end like this all the way to the end so this is what it looks like after I've stitched it down this is the very first piece um, so what I'm going to do now is to join all the other 25 pieces like I said earlier they are all 25 all together and I'm going to be stitching it down together like this all the way to the end wow see how beautiful it is guys I've stitched down all the pieces and this is how it looks it came out very beautiful it's so colorful and I made sure that I have the same kind of colors like you can see in this my pattern I have a lot of yellow blue and I have some red but mostly it's yellow and blue and a little bit of red and this is how the back looks like definitely it's going to be rough that's why when you are making a dress with this you will definitely need to attach a lining piece at the back so guys this is what it looks like I hope you really like I really love the way it came out I absolutely love this so what I'm going to do next now is to take this to my um, ironing board and I'm going to iron this out very thoroughly because of these plenty lines that I have so guys I've ironed it out and this is what it looks like it's absolutely beautiful I love the way it came out it's beautiful so the next thing I'm going to do now is to make a dress with it I don't know what I'm going to be making with this yet but I'll be making a dress with this after and I'll be sharing that tutorial on the channel that will be the next tutorial after this so if you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about it in the comment section give it a thumbs up if you've not subscribed subscribe subscribe to the channel sorry and let me know what you think in the comment section thank you so so much for watching this video I will see you in the next one bye bye